when I set out on my own to figure out what was my next musical adventure, I was, was working with quite a few producers all over the all over the place, here in London and Los Angeles and Texas. And when I met Spencer, we just clicked right away. And we we spoke the same language when it came to interests and music. And he is just so unbelievably talented. It was inspiring in itself. And when he asked if I'd be interested in, in becoming a duo, I, I truly felt that it was destined to be. And we jumped right into writing songs and, and making it happen. And Her Majesty and the Wolves was born. It's truly eclectic. It's a tastemaker's album. There's truly you know, different genres and vibes from dance music to the electro and, and even little um, flavors of dubstep. So it's, it's truly got something on there for everybody and beautiful melodies and poetic lyrics that I feel like a lot of people will be able to connect to in one way or another. My first musical idols was Lionel Richie, um, Tina Turner, and then it became Aaliyah, who was truly the, the first person that inspired me to want to be in the business. She made some of the most incredible videos, and I always wanted to, to do something similar to that. And then it was, you know, Missy Elliott and Busta Rhymes, watching them and seeing just the kind of conceptual stuff that they did, and it was just a bit left of center and different than everybody else. I felt like that was something that I wanted to do with my life, and that's where the inspiration started. Writing is a huge passion in my life, and was truly the catalyst that even got me into doing solo music in the first place. I was getting in the studio to really work on my craft of writing songs and turning my love of words and, and, and just purposeful lyrics into beautiful melodies. Today, we were doing a super sexy photo shoot for Kelco with sort of a her Majesty and the Wolves, Adam and Eve theme. Um, so Spencer and myself were scantily clad with snakes and apples and electronics. And of course, one of my most favorite photographers, Joseph Sinclair, was on board to make it happen. The one person I knew I could trust with this photo shoot and make sure that it came out just right. Spencer and I met at a, at a cafe and had this crazy chlorophyll green drink together and um, just talked about life and really connected on a, on a personal level. When we got in the studio and he started playing me beats, it was just unbelievable and so inspiring and everything I felt I had been looking for. So when I went home, about a week later, I got a phone call and, and Spencer was like, you know, what do you think about doing something together and becoming a duo? And as soon as I hung up the phone, it just felt so right and it felt so destined to be. I swear I was screaming and jumping up in the air. And um, I told him I would give it some thought, but I knew as soon as I hung up, it was, it was going to happen. <laughs> the change from being a doll into being part of Her Majesty and the Wolves is almost night and day. You know, the Pussycat Dolls was an incredible opportunity and an engine that gave me so many opportunities around the world to connect with so many fans and perform in front of thousands. But as far as being the creative force behind it, you know, that, that wasn't my, my role. So diving into Her Majesty and the Wolves really gave me a chance to become the songwriter I've, I'd always been working towards and, and wanting to be. It gave me a chance to really dive into growing as an artist and embracing all that purpose that I had been working towards and putting it into music so that I could bring these beautiful visions to life and create costumes and sing the songs that you know I had a hand in writing and, and dance and sing and make visuals and just do everything I'd ever dreamed of. So Her Majesty and the Wolves very much feels like my baby. My absolute very first memory is as a very young child, it had to have been before I was five years old, and we lived in an old farmhouse out in the country. I had to go through the gravel roads to get there. And we didn't have um, heating. We actually had to cut trees down and chop them up and put them in the fireplace in order to keep warm. But my first memory was a freezing winter day and coming downstairs from my upstairs bedroom to sit next to the stove. We would put it on broil and open it and my brother and I would sit in front of it to keep warm. <laughs> BM Beauty is my all-natural mineral makeup line, and the driving force behind it is myself and my partner who's from Aberdeen, Scotland, Laura McComsky. We met through a friend and just really kind of felt that we were passionate about the same things as far as making conscious choices as consumers. And we were both very passionate about makeup, so we decided to go into business together and create a line that would be natural but still give you great coverage and give you a beautiful face. So we, we dove in and we started creating our makeup line, BM Beauty. BM stands for Beautiful Movements. You know, all natural makeup is, is of super importance. There's so many different 
beauty products out there that are filled with so much crap that's so not good for your skin and me coming from you know dealing with problematic skin all my life I wanted to give girls out there and, and boys a, a natural choice that actually can help with your skin and has helped me immensely with my skin I truly believe in BM Beauty we are certified through BUAV no testing on animals um, vegan, vegetarian friendly, and uh, certified through PETA. So I'm very proud of BM Beauty. We have tutorials on bmbeauty.com, one for Earthy Princess, and one for the Burning Spirit Collection. So please go to bmbeauty.com and check it out. The future for me is filled with so many possibilities. I, I couldn't be more excited, to be honest. I, I found a way to, to stay true to the dance world that really kind of created and helped mold me into the person that I am by being a judge on Got to Dance and, and being an expert in the States with Live to Dance and giving back to, to all the dancers out there that, that really want to take it seriously and, and take it to the next level. You know, I can go on TV and do my thing, but I also get to get out there and connect to the fans that I love so very much and, and play music that means so much to me and, and create shows that hopefully just entertain and inspire and truly create experiences to remember.